The Galilean moons of Jupiter are called Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. The moons of Mars are called Phobos and Deimos. The largest moon of Neptune is called Triton. The moon of Earth is called the moon. Seriously? All these awesome names and we're just stuck with the moon. That's like having a pet dog and just calling it dog. Dog. Good girl. The first thing we need to decipher is the difference between A moon and D moon. A moon is a celestial body that orbits another larger celestial body. D moon is the smallest celestial body that orbits our larger celestial body, planet Earth. The word moon comes from moon, which in turn comes from mon, which in turn comes from the old English word mona, which in turn comes from the Proto-Germanic word manion. That's a lot of turns. Of course, there are other names for that ball of cheese in the sky. Luna is sometimes used in art and science fiction to help differentiate it from other moons. Luna the noun is different to Luna the adjective used to describe something as being moon-like. The verb for moon is mooning, but I don't know if YouTube will let me show you that. Luna in Roman mythology is the Greek goddess of the moon, so that's where that name comes from. Selene, the Greek goddess of the moon, has also been used in modern times too, but is nowhere near as commonly known as Luna. Sorry about that, Selene. The most common use of the Greek goddess's name is within selenography, the study of the surface of the moon. We know there are many other moons within our solar system, so why did our moon end up being called just the moon? Because it was the first moon. Well, definitely not the first moon ever in existence, but the first moon we as a human race knew about. I tried to hunt down the first recorded mention of the moon in history, but there was no answer. The moon has just always been there. It wasn't discovered in a way a country can be discovered. Earliest man from anywhere in the world would have been able to look up at night and see it above their heads. Civilizations would have known about the moon before they knew about each other. That's amazing. There's all kinds of fascinating myths and stories about the moon from all across the world, but that's a rabbit hole you can go down yourself. As I mentioned earlier, our moon was the first moon known of by humans. Not only the first moon known about, but pretty much the only thing other than stars that humans knew existed outside of our planet. It was Galileo who took the first big dive into understanding the moon when he made his own telescope in 1609 and first observed the mountains and craters of our moon. By 1610 he went on to discover the aforementioned Galilean moons of Jupiter, the first celestial objects discovered that didn't orbit our Earth or Sun, and when humanity discovered there are more moons than just our moon. Here's the thing, our moon, that's called the moon, isn't actually a moon. The correct name for a moon is a natural satellite. We have one, Mars has two, Jupiter has 67. Yet before we knew of any other natural satellites, we just knew the moon. So when we saw other natural satellites in our solar system, we also called them moons too. It would be like if we discovered life on Mars and the Martians had other aliens they kept for companionship, which covered in fur, had four legs, a wagging tail, and looked pretty much identical to our dogs. We would probably call them dogs, despite the fact they weren't really dogs. The moon, despite just being a floating rock in the sky, is amazing. Not just from a scientific standpoint, but from from a human standpoint. The world around us has changed over the millennia from what our ancestors knew, yet they too would have seen the exact same moon we see today. I've travelled on my own in the past and it can be daunting being in a foreign country with no one you know, but knowing I could look up at the moon and see the same thing the people I love at home could see was comforting. Alas, the people you love may go, but the moon will always be there. Sorry, that went a tad off topic.